Mercy. Here's Edmonds. He gets hit for the second time. Drilled by Zambrano for the second time in the ball game. Here comes the Cardinal bench again. They are livid with Zambrano. And I believe he has just been tossed out of the ball game by Joe Brinkman. Indeed, he has. Zambrano gives up the home run to Roland. And then he drills Edmonds to get himself ejected. It's five RBI best kids. One and two thirds innings, 10 hits, seven earns. Now, Carlos Zambrano here walks Jose Cruz Jr. when he's way up in the bottom of the fifth. And, and then he gets lifted by Dusty Baker. And on the way out, he told Dale Scott to get a pair of glasses. Scott told him to get a towel. He was ejected. Justin Kearns. Hello. Oh, yeah, Zambrano ejected. He allowed six runs on seven hits and four and two third year out here. Knocked down, and Morgan's going to try to score. Might be a play. Save. Ooh. He just got in. I thought he got him. And Lou's got to come out to keep his pitcher in the ball game. Well, he bumped him. Uh, you can't uh. do that, Carlos. Come on, Carlos. You got to be careful. He bumped him, and that might be a suspension. And he just throws the ball up into the bleachers. In on his belly, and Zambrano trying to block the plate. That slight bump there with the right arm got him ejected. It was not much of a bump. Z has been thrown out. They're throwing inside on Chipper Jones, and the Braves are coming out of the dugout. And Tim Timmons is pointing at them. You better get back in the dugout. So Z has been tossed. And Mike Quaddy's coming out. Allowed just one run on four hits in eight. One one in the seventh. Jason Johnson appears to be a strike here to Rich Aurelia. Looking good call, Rich. He didn't like it. And Marvin Hudson didn't like that. Bob Melvin comes up. Let's check Marvin Hudson's breaking point. Uh-oh, we're at DEFCON 1 here. And Bob Melvin. Yeah. Run for your life! Oh, you're about one nothing, Cardinals. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm going to tell you a little bit later. It's a Wu Tang Clan thing. That's for all the people. That's Luther Hagman, Jose Vidro. He strikes out and he's arguing. He said, Wu Tang Clan, I don't like the Wu Tang Clan. I like Method Man. It's fine. Boy, Johnny Estrada was on his way to the dugout. Oh, man. Johnny Estrada just got thrown out of the game. And I don't know what Edding said to start this. But he said something, and Johnny, as you heard, snapped. I don't know who he threw out there. I guess Bobby Cox. Yeah. Up to 0 for 2 with a fly ball. And he's hit. And Jason Marquis is thrown out of the game. Oh, that's ridiculous. Good gracious alive. The dead gut score of the game is one zip. You seriously think he's trying to hit somebody there? Are Rob Drake is mind serious? reading and he throws Jason Marquis out of the game. That's ridiculous. Um. And there is a called strike three, and he does not like the call by Bill Welke. And here comes Brad Mills to get his star out of the way. And nope, not in time. Welke just gave him the thumb. Look at this angle right here. Chase and Ramon are having a little discussion. Chase trying to get his attention right here. Ramon looking over and they're just talking about something. Chase backs up after saying his piece and all of a sudden watch the umpire's arm. Wow. Really Basada who we just showed you scoring. Watch we have a strike three here. Basada goes to throw the ball around and Smith hits him and he hits Smith and all of a sudden we see Bobby Smith's hair. <laughs> Benches are clearing. Look at that do. Jorge Posada. Kotz gets Posada looking. Posada, Andy Fletcher, the ump, get into it. Posada, toss, has to be restrained. Posada said later, I didn't spit on him. If I spit when I was talking, I didn't intend to do that. Bottom eight down, 6-1 now. Canyon Sturts hits Jorge Posada. That's the third time in two days Jorge's been hit. He's not happy. Next up, Hideki Matsui. Oh, he got all of that one. 1-6-3 one, deep. Baby. Posada called out for base runner interference over here. He would be ejected. Just taking guys out there. 
Yankees. Hard, aggressive baseball. Blue Jays win 6-2. The Yankees, uh, we said, having problems in the Bronx. They have lost five straight and nine of ten now at Yankee Stadium. Carlson throws behind Jorge Posada. Now, earlier, Aaron Hill got hit. So that could be in retaliation. Posada not happy, and that's what we call a precursor. Later in the inning, Brett Gardner doubles down the right field line to make it a 9-3 game when Posada crosses the plate. But when Jorge crosses the plate, he bumps Jesse Carlson, as you saw it right there. Carlson not happy. Posada gets tossed right away. And as soon as he gets tossed, he says, well, I'm going to make the best of it. He goes after Carlson. Rod Barajas is in the middle of it as well. Shelly Duncan comes in for the pinstripes. And if I'm going to go to battle for the Yanks, I want Duncan involved. Barajas getting restrained. Posada being walked off by Pettit and Sabathia. The 2-2. Two -two. Strike three. Posada down looking. And he does not like the call. And he points that out to Dana Demuth. And he gets thrown out of the game. Now the Yankees are down to their last catcher. And you see Robbie Thompson is trying to calm down Posada. But that is not a smart ejection for Jorge Posada. Same score, Chris Mears looking for the save, first batter. The big herd checks the swing. He's called out on strikes. Thomas angry about that call. Next batter, it's Ordonez, and Mears has his way as well. Gets him looking with a check swing. Ordonez does not agree. Has some words with umpire Chris Guccione. Close call on both Thomas and Ordonez. Ordonez gets tossed. The Tigers would win. They turn four double plays, and they send Chicago to its third loss in four games. Home of the 2-2, and Martinez takes strike three on a backdoor breaker. Two out. I think Victor Martinez may have been thinking what I was thinking, looking for everything but that breaking pitch, and it was pretty well located. Vmart does not like the call. He thinks it went around the plate. Now he's been kicked out of the game. Two away now for Victor Martinez, who looks at a called strike one. He looks back and has some words for Mike Everett. On his deathbed, told his son he watch out. Victor Martinez just got tossed. Yeah, Mike gave he gave him his hearing, and that hearing went on too long. It was time to play baseball. It just went too far with the argument. Justin Dukesher pitching, and Joe Creedy uh, leans into that one. Hunter Wendelstad, his daddy was an ump. He's been preparing for moments like this his entire life, and Creedy clearly lowers his left arm to get a hit on purpose. Come on back. And Ozzy Guillen, these two have a history. He and once called Wendelstad a liar, and... We continue. Creedy, you see him throw his bat. Wendelstad's going to toss him as soon as this ball is caught. The ball is caught. Creedy is gone. And for what? Because you threw your bat. First stop, Ray Ordonez could miss the remainder of the season with a torn knee ligament. Lou's going to tear a blood vessel here pretty soon after the Sports Center strike zone again shows that that pitch to Aubrey Huff may have been inside. So Pinella gets tossed by home plate umpire Chris Guccione. Bench coach John McLaren also tossed. Huff was also sent.